Hi, my name is Sandy Connor and I'm a lecturer in the Bachelor of Nursing at Mildura campus. I'm here today in the Mildura Student Nursing Lab to talk to you about La Trobe's Bachelor of Nursing pre-registration and provide some information about how you might get into the degree and to help you decide if nursing is the career for you. Firstly, there are a few ways that you can enter our nursing degrees, so let me clarify them for you. Our main entry point is the Bachelor of Nursing pre-registration. This course is three years in length and you can enter as a Year 12 student via your ATAR and prerequisites or as someone who is returning to study through one of our other entry options. Secondly, we have the Bachelor of Nursing Enrolled Nurse Entry. This course is two years in length and is for students who might be transitioning from TAFE or coming back to study from the workforce. To enter this course, you will need to hold a Diploma of Nursing and be registered with APRA as an enrolled nurse. The third option is the Bachelor of Nursing Graduate Entry. This is for students who have already completed a degree in a different discipline and may consider completing further study to become a nurse. There are different entry requirements for each of these degrees and I would encourage you to check out our website for the most up-to-date information. That's at latrobe.edu.au forward slash nursing. So why would you study nursing at one of Latrobe's regional campuses? I can think of many reasons and one that springs to mind is that we are Australia's oldest school of nursing and we have a reputation for excellence. We're ranked in the top 100 worldwide for our nursing subjects. Our research is ranked well above world standard and we have amazing placement opportunities, which Melissa will talk to you about a bit later on. And with all of this, you also have the benefit of studying a world-class degree close to home. Throughout your nursing degree, you will study long-term chronic care, Indigenous health, biosciences, acute and emergency health care and mental health care. As a Latrobe nursing student, you will learn how to care for people of all ages and make ethical, clinical decisions with a compassionate and caring approach. You will also develop important professional skills, such as time management, team leadership and caseload management. The way we teach the degree covers many learning styles, so it doesn't matter if you are visual, auditory, kinesthetic or read and write, there will be a teaching method that suits you. The way we do this is through a number of methods. These include having material to read online through the learning management system or in your textbook providing short videos and demonstrations for you to watch at your leisure or within class discussions and hands-on lab assessments. Each of these teaching methods ensures that you feel confident with the theoretical component as well as the hands-on skill before moving toward the next topic. Thanks for joining me to hear about La Trobe's nursing degrees and why you should study with us. I'm going to hand over to Melissa now to provide information about workload, placement and further information about our degrees. Hi Nash Banksy. Thanks Sandy for all that fabulous information. Hi everybody. I'm Melissa Deacon Crouch and I'm the Bachelor of Nursing Courses Coordinator for the La Trobe Rural Health School. Did you know that we are the largest rural health school in Australia and we have campuses in Bendigo, Mildura, Shepparton and Albury Wodonga. Our nursing and midwifery courses are the same courses that are taught in Melbourne. So guess what? You don't have to leave home to get a world class education. Now, some of you may be wondering what the time commitment is for our nursing degrees. When you first get your timetable, you might think that uh, there aren't many contact hours. Well, yes, you'd be probably right about that, but I'm gonna tell you a little bit more. In nursing, we have pre-recorded online lectures, and that means that you can watch them as many times as you like. You can stop them, you can start them, you can take notes, you can trot outside for a coffee. We've found that this is a much easier and a better way for you to learn. But of course, there'll also be face-to-face -face workshops where you've already watched those lectures and done some online activities, and then you'll come to the workshop ready to work through the patient scenarios, work together in groups and solve the case, and that way, consolidate your learning. Of course, there's also labs that are held in simulated hospital spaces, just like the one that we have here and the one that you saw Sandy in. This is where you will work on your nursing skills and your patient care, and we normally hold these for about two hour blocks. So for your workload, I estimate about two to four hours of face-to-face -face contact per subject per week. But don't get too excited, the course requirements are a bit bigger than that. You will have clinical placements and other teacher and self-directed work to do as well. For instance, readings, working on assignments, practicing your skills, but you can do that at a time that suits you. It's not actually timetabled. Now, on to placement. 
and the opportunities that you'll receive throughout your two or three year nursing degree. Our nursing degree has placement in each year and in total, you need to complete 800 clinical hours of placement, but we do offer up to 840 hours. These placements align with our subjects. So for example, if you're completing an acute care subject, we'd expect you to complete a placement in some type of acute care setting. That way you have hands-on learning in a real life clinical scenario where you're going to be able to consolidate the theoretical components of your subjects with the clinical patient care. Most of these placements will be done in or near a town where you're studying. For example, Mildura, Aubrey-Wodonga, Shepparton, and the surrounding districts of Bendigo, where I am now. However, I need to let you know that you're likely to have to travel at some stage during your degree and stay away from home for your placement. But if you have special circumstances that prevent you from being able to travel away from home, we'll do our very best to accommodate you. Believe it or not, we have hundreds of clinical partners in the regions who will help us ensure that you get a very high quality clinical experience. There are also some fantastic placement opportunities in Metro Melbourne. Particularly in third year, our students have the opportunity to apply for the very highly sought after placement at the Royal Children's Hospital. For this, we have a three week mental health, adolescent mental health placement, or we have a longer acute care placement. And then of course, when we're allowed to have international travel again, we have opportunities for overseas placements and exchange, long term or short term. So at the end of our program, our two or three year program, you will be eligible for registration as a registered nurse with APRA. Now, in addition to that, we have another very highly sought after course. It's the Bachelor of Nursing, Bachelor of Midwifery, which will lead to dual registration at the end of the program. The students who enrol in that particular program will complete the nursing subjects that with, along with the Bachelor of Nursing um, students, but in addition we'll do midwifery subjects as well. The workload is equivalent to a four year course, um, but you do have the dual registration at the end of it or eligibility for that. With the double degree nursing and midwifery, I've already pointed out for the nursing requirements, you need to um, finish up with 800 clinical hours for nursing. It's a lot more than that for the double degree nursing and midwifery. You also have midwifery clinical hours and clinical experience, extensive. So by the end of your course, you will have done more like 15 to 1800 clinical hours. But you know what? That means that you are so highly employable, so work ready um, that you're highly sought after as are our nursing um, students as well, by the way, but the more clinical experience you can get, the more confident you're gonna feel. But I just wanna point out that it's, um, it's an extensive course and there's a lot more clinical requirement for the double degree than there is for the single degree. Just in case you're wondering why I have Nurse Banksy in my pocket, I don't know whether any of you are aware that a quite a famous um, UK artist called Banksy uh, dedicated a beautiful picture that you can Google, just Google Nurse Banksy, and you'll be able to see that there's a little boy and he's got a superhero in his hand and the superhero happens to be a nurse flying through the air because you do realise that 2020 has been designated the year of the nurse, the year of the midwife. So I just wanted to introduce you to Nurse Banksy. From that note, I'm going to sign off, but I am really looking forward to seeing you here at La Trobe University at one of our regional campuses. You'll receive the very highest quality uh, education with us and we look forward to greeting you.